Hi, everybody. I'm Tom. Hi, I'm Stephanie. Welcome to English Digest. And today we're going to be talking about literature. It's our literature unit for the month of November. And of course, there are lots of books out there for you to read,、mm -hmm. and that's one way to increase your English reading ability or your listening or speaking ability by doing a lot of reading. And of course, if you're young, you might be interested in these dystopian novels that seem to be quite popular. There have been quite a few of them that have come out over the years. The newest one that we're going to talk about is the Ink Trilogy. Ink, I N K, that stuff inside your pen. Here we're actually talking about tattoos, and oftentimes、uh, they'll use ink to talk about getting a tattoo. Oh, I got some new ink on my arm or on my leg.、Uh, it's kind of a cool thing to do these days. It seems like every time I turn around, Tom,、mm -hmm. and I'm watching TV or a movie, especially cooking shows, they have just their whole arms and you know legs probably all tattooed.、Um, I know a couple in my family have gotten tattoos, and one of my best friends got a really small one. But it's not for me. It's it's not really my style. But I know it's popular.、Uh, but we refer to that as ink as well. But they're tattoos.、Uh, this trilogy we're talking about is a set of three books. A trilogy could be movies too. A trilogy of three movies. They all have the same or similar characters, and they kind of go together.、Uh, we're going to be talking about. Uh, the first one, which is ink, but there's also ink. Well, there's ink, spark, and scar. So,、mm. yeah, the author is Alice Broadway, but we'll talk about her on day two more.、Uh, today, we're going to focus more on the plot of the book and some of the themes. So, let's get started. We're going to read through day one.、Uh, this is a two-day unit, and then we'll be back. In the town of Saint Stone. Every resident is marked from birth with tattoos that detail their significant life events. Names and ages are tattooed, along with every accomplishment, personal milestone, and mistake. This makes their stories visible to everyone until death. When a person passes away, their skin is harvested and then crafted into a skin book. Before the book is returned to the deceased's family. The government conducts thorough investigations and a soul weighing ceremony to determine the soul's ultimate destiny. If the life lived is deemed valuable, the book is preserved to maintain their legacy and ensure the soul's eternal presence in the afterlife. Otherwise, it's burned, and the individual is eternally forgotten. Beyond the borders of Saint Stone live the blanks. Those who opt out of inking their skin and are thus expelled from society, these blanks are considered evil and conscienceless by the government. It claims they refuse tattoos to keep their hidden secrets from being exposed. The narrative focuses on 16-year-old Leora Flint as she copes with her father's death. Initially. She finds comfort in the belief that his skin book will honor his good deeds. Yet her peace is shattered by allegations that her father had ties with the blanks, and his book is set to be destroyed. Determined to clear his name, Leora undertakes a personal investigation into her father's past. As Leora digs deeper, her faith in her society's principles begins to falter. She questions whether stories are genuinely remembered through simple readings, and wonders if the afterlife might be a lie. Most critically, she contemplates who has the power to decide which truths are revealed or concealed. Okay, everybody, let's talk about the Ink Books trilogy. A trilogy, of course, is three books together, like the Lord of the Rings trilogy. That's probably the most famous one. But there are many others, and this is all about dystopia of ink and skin. So dystopia just refers to、uh, when the world kind of、uh, goes to pot, when it's really terrible, and there's、uh, you know world war going on all over the place. And of course, there are lots of dystopian novels out there that talk about a terrible future for the world. And this one is actually about ink, which is referring to tattoos. 
and skin, which is where tattoos are put. Hey Tom,、um, explain what what it means. You just used a phrase that is、uh, something I've never heard in Taiwan. Something goes to pot. What does、goes、that mean? Pot, right? Well, that just means it just goes to a terrible situation. It just becomes、uh, really terrible, really awful, chaotic. All、uh, right. So you could say, "Oh, this town is really going to pot." You know, the、uh, the、uh, factories have moved out, and everybody's unemployed, and the crime rate has increased. Yeah, it's really going to pot. Yeah, it's more of a slang term. It's not really、uh -huh. used all that often. But in any case, that's what、uh, a dystopia is all about. The world is going to pot. It's just kind of、Yuck. falling apart.、Yeah. It's the end of the world. And of course, here they're trying to hold on with the、uh, various、uh, religions. I suppose they've got this one that involves tattoos, which we'll get to in just a second. I would say it's a philosophy, <laughs> but these people are really strange. You're gonna、um, uh, learn some interesting things. I, I think it's got some great ideas in there, and some of it applies. Some of it applies to our modern world today. So I'll talk about those probably in day two, but I see some real, real significance between these books and the way we're being monitored by government and other agencies like Google and our phones. Everything we do and say is being recorded. We know that now.、Um, I think these things are important because we also have cancel culture out there, where if you say the wrong thing when you were fourteen. When you go to get a job at twenty-five, you may not be able to get the job you want. So I disagree with that stuff.、Uh, we st do and say stupid things sometimes in our lives.、Mm. We should be able to、uh, apologize and move on and forget that stuff. But that's not what happens here to these people in the town of Saint Stone. That's just kind of a, a town she made up. The author. Every person who lives there. Is marked from birth with tattoos that detail their significant life events. So here are some examples.、Uh, their name is tattooed on their body. As a young baby, can you imagine tattooing a little one and then ages? So every time they get older, their age is put on their body. I'm not sure. You know, you'd have enough skin to tattoo everything.、Uh, that's an important point, though. Remember that. And every accomplishment you've ever made or done or achieved, that's a tattooed. Every personal milestone. Oh, I graduated from elementary school. Oh, I graduated from high school. These are milestones,、uh, significant points in your life of development, and all your mistakes. And everyone can see these on your body every time you get together with people. Just imagine the kind of、uh, horror. This would be to live in this kind of world. That's right. So, because all your accomplishments and your milestones and your mistakes are written on your skin as a tattoo, it makes your stories visible to everyone until the day you die. Okay, and they probably preserve those、uh, records afterwards in some form、uh, as well.、Uh, nowadays, of course, I think they probably have a databases online. Of、uh, things you've done and things you've said, I think everybody in the world probably has such records being built right now as we speak. And companies buy them because they can use it to target advertisements to you.、Mm. So this information that you are unwillingly giving to all these apps, and every time you use your phone or on a website. All of this information is being stored and can be purchased. Right, and then AI can come and get you in the future if、uh, somebody thinks you're dangerous. But uh, that's uh, another topic for another day. Although it is similar here,、mm -hmm. it's kind of a dystopian world where everybody is monitored, everybody is watched. And here in the next paragraph, it says, "When a person passes away, when a person dies, their skin is harvested and then crafted into a skin book." Gross! That's really weird. Okay, when you die, they actually take your skin off your body. It's we, harvested. We say skinned. Yeah, actually, you're skinned. Yeah, yeah, that's what you do to an animal after you kill it. It、mm -hmm. depends on what you want to do.、Uh, like, of course, if you want to make leather, you need to skin a cow, for、right. example, to get the leather off of the cow. And this is what happens to a person.、Uh, it doesn't happen while they're alive. It's supposed to happen after they're dead. Their skin is harvested. It is removed from their bodies. And then it is crafted into a skin book. 
I don't want to get too graphic here, but basically, basically they probably take pieces of skin and make individual pages, and then they make it into a book. And remember, the skin has all of your records of everything you've done in your life, and you can't get rid of it. That's right. So what happens with this? Well, um, before the book is even given back or returned to that deceased's family, the government then gets busy. And conducts thorough investigations. If you investigate something, you conduct an investigation. You're looking at a lot of、uh, evidence, a lot of information. You're trying to figure out what's going on.、Uh, police will conduct investigations. Government here、uh, obviously isn't conducting investigations, and they also conduct something called a soul or spirit, right? A soul weighing ceremony. Like your spirit can be weighed. I guess it's based on the good things you've done and the bad things you've done, and then the government is the ones that will determine the soul's ultimate destiny. Ultimate here means final, and destiny refers to,、uh, you know, where you're supposed to be going in life. It includes the events that will happen to a particular person. Now and in the future, where are you? What's your final destiny? What's your、um, what's your destiny going to look like?、Uh, some people don't believe they have control over their own destinies. I do. I believe we have absolute control over where where we go in life and whether we're happy or not.、Uh, it's how you react to the things that happen to you that's important too. So this sounds like a terrible process. I think it's horrible. And if the life lived of the person who passed away, if their life that was lived is deemed or considered valuable, the book is preserved or maintained or taken care of so it lasts forever. Right. Okay. So they weigh the soul somehow. They figure out how to do that. And then if your life is deemed valuable, if they determine your life is valuable, then your book will be preserved. It will be kept. And it will maintain your legacy to ensure the soul's eternal presence in the afterlife. Of course, the afterlife is where you go after you die.、Uh, different、uh, religions have different ideas about that. Are you going to go to heaven or hell, or will you reincarnate, or will you just simply be in the ground until、uh, the Lord comes and brings you back? There are different、uh, interpretations of the afterlife. But otherwise,、uh, if it's not considered let. To have a legacy, if it's not valuable,、mm-hmm. then that book will be burned, and the individual is eternally forgotten. Eternally just means forever.、Uh, that person will no longer exist, and no one will, rem- will remember that person. Very sad, right? Because everybody is valuable. Every life that has been lived is valuable, and we hope at least families will remember、uh, their family members, if not more. I'm going to remember all my friends too. So. Uh, it's kind of a sad process, to say the least. Before we move on and talk about more of the plot of this particular book, Inc., we're going to take a quick break and listen to our Chinese teacher. Hello, everyone. 我是派老师。今天讲解的是十一月十二号 Unit Six。好，这是第一天的课程。大家应该都听过 Tattoo， 中文呢就说刺青，应该也看过。有些刺青背后是有故事的。有些人会透过刺青的文字、图案，保留自己生命的故事，提醒自己重要的人事物。多数会这么做的人，其实都是自愿的。可大家有没有办法想象，有个社会，所有人打从一出生就必须把生命当中重大的事件都用刺青刻画在身上，而且别人也看得到，让你的过往无所遁形。那这个单元介绍的小说《Ink》印记三部曲。就在描述这样的一个社会。好，那我们一起来看学习重点吧。请看到第一段的第一个句子，请特别注意的是，在 be 动词之后，那这里呢有一个 be marked from birth with tattoos。请同学呢先把这个 from birth 挂号起来，这可以算是插入的句子，也就是呢这件事情是从出生就开始。什么事情呢？就是每一个居民，每个居民要做什么事？后面有个 marked with tattoos， 那就是要在身上刺青。刺上什么东西呢？这个 tattoos 后面就有讲了 that detail。这些呢，这是关系子句嘛？这个关系子句进一步的去说明这个刺青是怎么样呢 
Detail 这里是动词，详细记载每个居民的人生重大事件。好，再来呢，请看到第一段第三个句子，请同学特别注意的是 visible 这个形容词，这里呢是受词补语，意思就是他们的人生故事其实哦，别人都可以看得见。好，再来我们看到第二段的第一个句子，请同学注意的是 be 动词后面的这个过去分词 harvested。Harvest， 大家学过，知道是收成的意思。可是这里是当做动词，那就表示呢，这个皮肤是可以取下来的。Harvest 后面呢，也常常会加身体的器官，像譬如说，有一些人呢，他们可能呢，在死亡之后会做器官的捐赠，比方说可能是肾脏啊什么的。那医生要把他们的这个肾脏取下来的时候呢，我们也可以说 Harvest， 呃、uh, ，the organ，Harvest the kidney。好，那再来，请同学看到后面还有一个过去过去分词是 crafted， 这里 crafted 意思呢就是 made， 就制作成。好，再来，请同学看到第二个句子要注意的呢是词语搭配进行调查，谁进行的呢？政府会去调查，而且是相当彻底的调查 ，conduct thorough investigations。好，那之后还会有一个很特别的仪式，是在做什么的呢 ？So weighing。居然呢会把灵魂拿来称重，好，为什么？目的在后面，要去判断 ，to determine， 要去决定这个灵魂呢，它最终的命运。再来第三个句子，请看到第三个句子，请看到过去分词 deemed， 这里呢就是视为，其实跟 consider 的用法是一样的。那由于这里是被动语态，所以呢后面加的这个 valuable 哦，它是形容词，不过呢它是主词补语。那他们的人生，过往的这些人生，如果别人认定哦是很有价值的，就会把这个皮肤所做成的书呢保留下来。好，那保存的目的呢？我们可以看得到，这里有两个嘛。那一方面呢是想要去维持他们所留下来的这些遗泽，让别人可以缅怀他们的风范。那再来呢，第二个目的呢，就是要确定呢他们的灵魂是可以永存的。We're going to take a quick break. Stay tuned. We'll be right back. Okay, let's continue to talk about the Ink Trilogy. We're talking about the plot again. We've got the town of Saint Stone, and everybody has tattoos, and then everybody's life accomplishments and their record. Is written on their skin when they die.、Uh, they determine whether the person's life was worthwhile. So they will keep the skin book that was made based on their skin with all those tattoos. And if they're not considered、uh, significant, or if they're considered useless, or simply not worth remembering, then that skin is burned. That skin book rather is burned, and then that person will be forgotten forever. Now moving on now to the third paragraph, it says, "Beyond the borders of Saint Stone live the blanks, those who opt out of inking their skin and are thus expelled from society."、Uh, this、uh, seems to be a common theme in some of these stories, where there are people who are involved in the society and they're controlled by it, but then there are those. Radicals or those rebels who live freedom outside, fighters, I call them. They're, exactly, they're after freedom. Yeah, yeah they live outside、uh, that、uh, mainstream society, and they kind of see the truth to that society, and they think, "Hey, we got to change that. We don't want to be complete zombies controlled by that government. We're going to actually do something about this, and maybe someday we'll bring about a revolution." Yeah, I think it's interesting because,、uh, as Tom says, we have these kind of people. Today in our society,、uh, sometimes they'll talk about living off the grid, meaning、uh, they don't—they're not on social media, they don't post anything, and they kind of keep to themselves so that no one is able to keep a collection of their data somewhere. So, yeah, it's interesting. She calls them the blanks. So they opt out, which means to choose. You choose to not do something by opting out. And if you're expelled, you're kind of pushed out or thrown out of something. You can be expelled from school if you don't obey the rules.、Um, here, they're expelled from society. So these blanks are considered evil. Of course, they are. 
If you don't do what the government wants, you're often considered evil, or you're not going along, or going along to get along is another phrase we use. Oh, just do what you're supposed to do. Don't cause trouble. They're also considered conscienceless. A conscience is when someone knows or feels that what they've done is right or wrong, and some people don't have a conscience at all. Like evil people who kill others and they don't even feel bad, they don't feel. They don't have a conscience inside telling them that's wrong. So to not have a conscience is pretty bad. But that's what the government decides、uh, about these blanks. They they label them. They call them names. It claims they refuse tattoos to keep their hidden secrets from being exposed. I just heard someone、um, on the news the other day, and they were saying、uh, the government says we should. Have, they should have access to all our info because if we were innocent, we wouldn't mind.、Mm. No, we have nothing to hide.、Yeah. Exactly, but privacy is important and is an important part to freedom. So don't let the government tell you that. We should be able to have our privacy and keep our secrets. Secrets aren't always bad, right? So what's、mm. the next paragraph, Tom? Well, the next paragraph says the narrative or the plot of this book focuses on 16-year-old Leora Flint. As she copes with her father's death, so this is the main character in this book.、Uh, the narrative follows her and what happens to her. And her father died, so she has to cope with her father's death. If you cope with something, you deal with something, especially if it's very difficult.、Uh, for example, maybe、uh, your parents get a job in a different city, and you've got to cope with a new school. Uh, you've got to get used to classes. You don't know anybody. You've got to make new friends. You need to cope with or deal with the situation. Now, initially or at first, she finds comfort in the belief that her father's skin book will honor his good deeds. Someone's good deeds are the good actions that they take in life, and they're good to other people. Yet, but her peace is shattered by allegations that her father had ties or friendships with the blanks. Oh no. Um, if something shatters, it means it breaks into small pieces. We'll often use this verb to talk about a mirror or something made of glass. The glass will shatter into small pieces.、Uh, if your piece is shattered, it's completely destroyed. So she doesn't feel peace, which is really tough in life. And an allegation is an accusation, or when someone says, "Oh, you did this something wrong. You did something illegal," but there's no proof. Or they haven't found the proof yet. It's just an allegation that someone makes. So these are problems that she's having in her life. She's determined to clear his name to prove to other people that her father is a good man or was a good man. So she undertakes or starts a personal investigation into her father's past. That's right. Again, she wants to clear his name so that. People don't think anything bad about him. They respect him, but of course, she's got to、uh, launch this personal investigation and find out some information about her father's past. Maybe he was involved with the blanks, but is that a good thing or a bad thing? She's going to find out. And moving on now to the next paragraph, it says, as Leora digs deeper, as she finds more information, her faith in her society's principles begins to falter. To falter means to kind of fall apart. She's losing faith in the principles of her society. She probably believed in those principles very strongly before, but the more she learns, the more she realizes that the government is probably evil and corrupt, and it's controlling people and doing nasty things. Now she questions whether stories are genuinely remembered through simple readings, and wonders if the afterlife might be a lie. So she probably starts questioning everything. I think that's what happened to me one day, Tom, about ten years ago. I noticed that something I heard on the news was a lie because I had experience with it, and then I just started questioning lots of things at that point. So I think the more you experience with life and you are, have a logical mind, you start to question, and that's what she does. Hey, are these stories they tell us really true? A lot of them aren't, guys. So if you're genuinely doing something, or something's genuine, you can use it as an adjective and an adverb. It means it's real, right?、Um, she felt genuine sorrow. 
at the loss of her puppy. So she felt real, real sadness. So she wonders and she starts questioning. As Tom said in the first sentence, she was digging deeper. To dig here doesn't mean you put your your shovel into the dirt and you move it. It means you're looking below the surface. Just don't accept what the government tells you or what you hear on the news. Actually look into it yourself and see what you can find. Talk to people who who look around at these things as well. That's what she did and she started uh you know, questioning more, doing more research. That's what it takes. And then she started to wonder if the afterlife, remember afterlife is after we die. And our beliefs on that have to do a lot of times with our religious views. She thought, "Mm, maybe that's all a lie. Maybe there is no afterlife. Most critically, she contemplates to think deeply means to contemplate. Who has the power? Yeah. Who has the power to decide which truths are revealed or concealed? Uh, We found out in our government, at least in the States, that our government has a lot of uh, concealed files. They keep a lot of things secret. Mm. And it seems like more and more things are kept from us. Look into that. That's what she wanted to find out. If you conceal something, you hide it. Uh, Maybe if you conceal a scar you have, you want to hide it because you don't think it looks very pretty. or You are carrying a concealed weapon uh, where you're trying to hide it from the police. So these things are important. Exactly. So that's the plot of the book so far. The narrative, again, is following a 16-year-old Leora as, of course, she wants to clear her father's name. But as she digs deeper and finds more information, she starts to question the society in which she lives. Okay, that brings us to the end of our explanation for today. Let's turn things over now to our Chinese teacher. 好,接着我们看到第三段哦,第三段第一个句子,大家有看到空这个引号里面有个blanks,这里呢并不是我们平常所想的,比如说空格啊,空白啊,这里指的呢是空白人,就这个社会呢他们把人分成这些愿意接受
in our next program. We hope you can join us then. Also, if you have some extra time, check our Facebook page and also go on YouTube and learn a little bit more. We've got lots of good things you can learn, especially if you are、uh, coming up、uh, with a test in the future.、Mm. Maybe that'll help you as well. We wish you all the best for English Digest and Stephanie. I'm Tom. Goodbye. See you later.